No, we're not in Sparta, Wisconsin. We did that a week ago, two weeks ago. I don't even know. We are at the Armstrong Trail in Ford City, about an hour north of Pittsburgh. There's a new section of the trail that we haven't ridden before, so we want to check that out today. We've already run into a little issue with parking with the locals, so kind of weird if you come here. But let's find out more about the trail. Let's go for a ride. Ford City, Pennsylvania. I don't know, man. I just pulled up on the street and a guy says, you're not going to park here, are you? There's nothing to say no parking, he said. My mother's 83 years old. I don't know what that has to do with street parking. She just came home from the hospital yesterday. Again, I don't know what that, that has to do with street parking. And then he was all kinds of artificially helpful. And, you know, fine. You don't want me to park here? I want to park here. Just let me move on. And stop delaying me. used to go there whenever I was really little. That was my first lesson in fresh grated parmesan. Ooh. Ooh, it was wonderful. We have started north of here in Catanning and we've gone north to East Brady. And I have videoed that a couple times. I didn't make movies out of them. Not all of them. But we've been on this trail before. There's a new section that's supposed to be opened up on the way down to Freeport. Now, did I do a movie about the Freeport to Butler Trail? Oh, I think so. I'm going to have to go back and look because I don't remember. Uh, you know, I, I honestly I don't remember if you did. I the, can't imagine you not doing it. The Butler Freeport Trail was, I think it was the first trail that we traveled to. You know, because Montour is in our backyard, Panhandle's in our backyard, the Gap is in our backyard, and the uh, Butler Freeport is a half an hour away, so it's not like it's really far. And we were looking for places to check out and explore during the night. How you doing? Nice place there in the corner. It is gorgeous inside. A nice row of houses here. Yeah. Um, is that just an access and the trail continues here? I guess this is still the trail. Now years ago we walked down here uh -huh. and crossed this bridge, right. but the bridge was open, right? Yes. It's only when we got a little bit further there was fencing all the way across. Yes. I never understood that. What's this? The Kiski? No, this is Crooked Creek. It's what? Crooked Creek. Crooked Creek. Okay. Where does the Kiski come in? The Kiski's pretty far out. Really? I just remember we walked so far down here and there was a chain link fence across. Maybe like where this post is. Probably. I'm just glad it's, it's open and it's, it's, yeah, it seems pretty nice. It does. There you go. Good thing that gate is there with a chain. But there's no way you can get through over here. I don't like these metal curbs they put along here. No. Calling out for someone to get hurt.
Some of the people fix them up real nice. That guy has a nicer shed for his 4x4 four four than a lot of people have for their camp. Yeah. Oh, that's neat. They turned one of those sheds. I mean, they've got an air conditioner. Some of them are real nice and some of them are real not. Shenley was the distillery. I don't know what kind of whiskey they made there, but they made something just good. Is there a tricycle on top of that? There is a tricycle on top of that. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why it doesn't vibrate off when they turn the air conditioner on. These things are a lot easier when you're not concerned about how you're going to get it out. Yeah, that's true. Look at that wall. That's an expensive that's wall. An expensive wall. So we passed a road path, a couple of abandoned buildings down here. Here's another one. Okay, I understand why they do this at parks and stuff, but why would they do it right here? Kiski Junction Railroad. Ah, and Dippin' Dots. Huh. Ice cream of the future. I'll be gone. What's that say? Stay off tracks. No storm trails. Oh, you can go up and look at it. Let's go look at it. You know I have to. Go up on the patio if you like. Can you go inside? No, it's locked. Oh, that's wild. Fuses, fusees, and torpedoes. Man, the torpedoes. Yeah. This is beautiful. Shenley, PA. Oh, dam five is here. There you go. Here's the dam. The torpedoes are in here. Damn the torpedoes. Yes, yeah, it'll be obvious once you look in the in the thing. And look, you can climb up. Oh wow. And oh, if I were twenty five wow. I would. So neat. Isn't it? And over there you see a thing that says fusees and torpedoes. I don't know what fusees are, I know what the torpedoes are. What are the torpedoes? Um, in the days before they had communication like they have now, if they broke down or something like that, they'd have to send a guy running down the track to lay down these torpedoes so that when the neck, a train coming along ran over it, boom, 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 it would tell the engineer, stop. Something up ahead, you gotta stop. Yeah. Okay. I'm going, the walking a country mile, I'm not climbing down. This is so cool. And I have a map now. Ooh. It's the map, 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 it's the map. I am glad that you can still climb up on it. I hope that anybody coming along to visit and check this out will treat it with respect. Don't do anything stupid so that we may continue to climb on it. I just when people start doing stupid things and injuring themselves and injuring the equipment, that's when we have to start shutting it off. People like me, they just want to climb on it and play. Imagine standing up here while this thing's whizzing along at like 40 miles an hour. No, I can't. See, I look at this stuff underneath here and just think, oh my gosh. Those wheels are... Those wheels are this high. Ah, don't do that. I'm not climbing all the way. Ah! Look at the little... Uh, I have no choice. Is hanging there? Is that a, a windshield wiper? Yes. 
This is so cool. I think I've I've been here. Like I had to be like really little. I just remember there being a great big brick building. Yeah, I just think it would be cool to stand right up here in the front while this thing's going down the tracks. Come on up, we could do the whole Titanic thing. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> they die in that, you know that. They drowned. Neither one of us is going to drown right here. Nor freeze to death. Not today. Well, we have to go up and look where the rescue river comes in because I can see the bridge. Is that the one that they fixed recently? Apparently. I'm, I'm impressed with the trail. I, I really think it's pretty nice. And it gives all the access and parking and where you can get food. And well, nice. we've already accessed that we've already parked. Despite that weird guy. Yeah. I mean, but this is a nice trail. It is. See, I don't know what those metal things are. Fine, if you want some kind of protection thing. And yeah, if you put up concrete things, people could hit them too and get hurt. At least with concrete, you wouldn't get tetanus. All right, tally ho. This is really very nice. Stay off the tracks. Okay. I'm guessing that's the post office. United States Post Office, Shenley, PA. I can't read the zip. No, this has got to be it. This is the one they've talked about they were repairing. Look at this thing with all the directions. Oh, they're all trails. Oh. Treadway Trail? Never heard of it. Emerging Erie to Pittsburgh Trail, of course. Rachel Carson Trail. Well, that's a foot trail. Three Rivers there. Heritage, Butler Freeport, and Armstrong. I wonder what the other ones. Very cool totem. Roaring Run Trail. Let's look those up. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of them are hiking trails. You know, we know that Rachel Carson Trail is a hiking trail. Yeah. And that actually runs, that's on the other side of the river over here. Well, if it's on the Kiski, then I'm guessing that it was part of the old canal system and that's why it's there. Okay. Well, what we're going to cross is the Kiski River. Because we know that canal ran up through Salzburg right. and accessed down through Freeport. To the Allegheny. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a brand new bridge. I'm guessing when those canal boats, I mean, it's so wide and deep here, it's so navigable. They had to just enter the, the Kiski. Kiski Minutus. Right into the Allegheny. bizarre <laughs> you can come across the bridge but not all the way across you know what though this is going to be so nice i wonder how many years it will take that's the view they have oh honey this is beautiful it's just so weird that they've come to that point and stop and it says private property so i'm guessing there are property right issues going on right now Huge house up there. I can understand why they wouldn't finish it. And it says whatever the KJRR Kiski what Kiski railroad. Junction railroad Kiski Junction Railroad. Wow, just have a look see up the And I am curious as to what's on the other side. Maybe Art Godfrey would know. Hey Art, do you watch my movies? Do you watch my movies? Let me know what's on the other side of the sign. Isn't this beautiful though? camps, all these pleasure boats. This is beautiful. I don't want to camp like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want a boat, but I do enjoy seeing them. I like looking at boats. I'm not, I like the floating porches. You know, the fast boats. I don't, I mean, it's a river. Where are you going to go fast? I don't know. It's kind of like having a Ferrari and still having to drive through the Fort Pitt Tunnel. You're still only going to do 25 miles an hour. 
You're gonna have a fast boat, but I'm just gonna get you to the next lock quicker. This is really pretty. This is a nice shot right here. And once you get to the lock, then you gotta wait till it's your turn and go through real slow. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually a big fan right now. I think this is beautiful. This makes a nice 25 mile trip. It was funny, I was gonna say, well, it's about 13. Why don't we turn around? Well, it's 12 7. So that's pretty darn good. See, mine says 12 6. Yeah, no. I know. Me, 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 me. What a nice deck, though, huh? This is so smooth and nice. It is. They did a fine job. Is this what you were referring to when you were talking to those people as the old iron bridge? Yes. That's kind of funny because someone says the old iron bridge opened. Well, yes and no. You can go on it, well, you just can't get through to the other side. Yeah, it's a nice lead on. KJRR. I love this stuff that they put down to hold gravel. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I, think if we I like the honeycomb to... shape better. Yeah, I do too. Because but... I like honeycomb, especially when it's a sweet cereal that's hocked by a bear. You say this is number five, number seven, number six. Number six. That is number five. We'll be up yes, I understand the sequence. I just didn't understand where in that sequence we were. It just seems a little redundant. It just seems a little redundant. You think it seems a little redundant? I, I do. I think it seems a little redundant. Do you think that bridge that they did back there is big enough to put a tank through? Because I always think about things like this if, you know, horrific things were to happen. If they needed to move troops, they could move along some of these trails, which is a weird thought. Well, I'm sure there are conspiracy theories about these trails and the money being put into them, a surreptitious way of moving troops and equipment. The further up here, the trail is not very wide. No, it's not. Well, I guess it could always be considered as a backup, but I really don't think that the U.S. government has any reason to bring them through. I guess because of the locks and dams, you know? If they were to shut down navigable waters, you know, it would be... It would be hard. There's an awful lot of coal and stuff that gets shipped by barge. You've got to keep these locks and dams in operation. Maybe I'm crazy. Well, they all have access roads. From what I've seen, they have access roads on either side. I don't think they made the access roads for those guys to fish. But who knows, maybe. I know the interstates are made for... Bump coming up. You know, the interstates are made to specifications so that they could move heavy equipment if they needed to. Yeah. They don't really care if you can take your Ferrari at 120 miles an hour. My mind keeps going back to that big rig we saw on the Mackinac Bridge. Oh my gosh, yeah. That had like 32 wheels on it. That was crazy. That what? I don't know what it was. What in the world? Because it wasn't any longer than a regular truck. It sure had a whole heck of a lot of wheels on it. Do you think it was meant to carry like a tremendous amount of weight? But yeah, yeah. The only reason I can think of is that they would put that many wheels on it. Which obviously means then that the Mackinac Bridge is designed to hold it. Yeah. So they wouldn't let it through. Right. But then why through there? I mean, unless it came through a port on Lake Superior, bringing something? I don't know. Yeah, we see you. So, did she come down that? I don't know where she came from. I can't imagine. I don't know 
All right, we're gonna go down again. Yeah. Say again what this is? Um, I think this is one of the gates that the men used to go through to not have to cross the railroad track to go to the park. Yep. Tunnel for them to get to work. Some nice old four squares here. So it's just a clock and a fountain? Yep, that's true. 25 and a half miles on the Armstrong Trail from... Ford City to Shenley. To Shenley. Ford City to Shenley. It's a nice trail. Love it.